Hello everyone, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be our daily tarot reading for May 28, 2018. Four cards spread <clears throat> and the first card that is showing up the topic of this current day that is going to be the Nine of Cups. The second card does expresses up um, the negativity or things we shouldn't do during that particular day that is the ace of cups the third card that shows up the positivity or what we should do during that particular day this is going to be the ace of wands and last but not least in case last two conditions these couple of cards are kept we have the lovers card as a uh, uh, impact in the long term of this particular day so uh, <clears throat> This is mostly career reading and I will tell you why. Now even though we do have a lot of cups card, the real key of what the reading is all about is hidden here in the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> so what happens is that today we can really materialize a success of ours, especially into our career. And that will happen through a, a teamwork with somebody. All right, and what we can do today is either we can be extremely professional with this person, which we should do, or we can connect emotionally with that same guy, and then the success is going to be even milder than it has to be. All right, so what happens with the Nine of Cups is that, as a topic of the day, is that we can have the day the way we want to have it. All right, and that's why we shouldn't use the day. <clears throat> to make emotional connections but rather to make advance forward with our things and with our goals in the material aspect because the opening is very severe this could be a, an opening of uh, <clears throat> of healing this could be an opening of uh, you know establishing a a, a long-term project which we have planned uh, for a quite a while same thing goes for uh, for example obtaining mortgages etc etc generally today guys it is very important that we uh, how can I place it that we advance with our things actively forward rather than sitting in one place and making emotional connections now one more thing is what the cards are pointing here <clears throat> is that everything uh, kind of like we need to create that opening on our own instead of waiting it to happen this is displayed in these couple of cards while the ace of cups does expresses up um, out of nowhere suddenly an awesome opportunity comes the ace of wands points to the through struggle we finding we are finding the way out or the way how we can push our things through that being said <clears throat> We need to maintain our uh, our work and our advance forward, you know, and our performance in general. So the the true way for us comes up and opens. <clears throat> Whatever it is, these couple of cards here are pointing that a new era is going to follow after that particular day into that um, into that project or enterprise we are dealing with today. The, the thing is, however, what kind of an era we are, going to, uh, we are going to establish. As the Nine of Cups is a topic of the day, <clears throat> the very follow-up after our efforts is going to be quite astonishing and is going to be, let's say, very satisfiable. But also the Nine of Cups gives us a hint that <clears throat> the satisfaction could be much greater if we, don't, uh, if we don't drop off the good performance and we keep up the toils, you know, behind it. Because <clears throat> the Nine of Cups, even though many readers, and although it is true that this points that the wish comes true, it is very unstable state, you know. The stable state is the Ten of Cups, which is right after the Nine of Cups, which means that we are not just there yet, you know. It is just a small things that we need to manage in order to traverse the uh, temporary happiness into a long-lasting permanent happiness. That being said, <clears throat> First thing that came to my mind looking at that particular reading is um, the typical relationship in between two co-workers that is in the movie, you know, where they fall in love with one another or kind of like they have an intimate interest in one another. Now, instead of maintaining that intimate interest, as it is pointed here in the, in the Ace of Cups, be totally professional with this person because afterwards... <clears throat> What happens is we do have the lover's card, 
First of all, the Lover Skull promises you great uh, harmony in communication and in relationship, regardless of either that relationship is going to be uh, professional, intimate, or just a friendship. You know. Second of all, the Lover Skull does point you that. <clears throat> some of the problems that you are dealing with right now they are going to be resolved on their own accord further into the future so if you ha if you feel tension in your uh, working place because of a certain person this is because you know uh, we are expressing our emotions more than we need to and that this is creating the uh, <clears throat> the issues there and as soon as we become more professional about it so there is no emotion whatsoever then these problems will start the uh, resolving on their own accord then we do have a very important decision that we need to make in the future which is going to be based on the performance of that particular day and it's going to be a business decision we need to make and in order to take the accurate one as i said we have to be extremely professional today so, <clears throat> what is the summarizing of this particular reading is that <clears throat> we need to, as I said, we should not uh, follow our emotions today or rather the spontaneous emotions today, but instead we need to keep up the toils and instead we need to keep up the professional behavior into our career and into our relationship as well. And under professional behavior into our relationship, I mean that we need to keep up the code of conduit that one relationship should follow regardless of what our emotions dictate to us. Because <clears throat> further in the future, as I said, we are going to be in a much disadvantageable point, uh, a standpoint, excuse me, of what we want to find ourselves in. If today we outburst towards you, toward our partner, for example, if we miss the chance to advance our uh, <clears throat> our things moving on forward because we are way too indulged into our emotions and we don't want to make the tough call as well because that could be also a case where you don't want to make the tough call because uh, this tough call is going to hurt someone else's emotions or your emotions either, you know. So... <clears throat> Maintaining the professionalism today is very important because as I say, this is going to be a big day and you're going to materialize certain success, certain goal and it's going to happen through a, a teamwork. So <clears throat> with that being said, this was our daily tarot reading for May 28, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye.